and welcome back to my channel. So today we're here and we are warming our hands by the Netflix Yuletide log. And I decided that for today's video I was going to do a question and answer. I haven't done one of these in so long so I thought it might be really fun to just sit down and get to talk to you guys about some things that you want to know about me. I'm actually on the floor today as you can see so I want to invite you to sit on the floor too. If you're watching your laptop, go ahead and sit down the floor and we can have a little floor hangout. So I asked you all to tweet me some questions and I'm going to answer as many of them as possible. I got so many questions this time, which was so exciting and I wanna do more of these. So make sure that you're following me on Twitter and Instagram, that way you can leave me questions too. If you are new here, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited that you came for this question and answer. You get to know me right off the bat. If you're new, leave a comment letting me know and also don't forget to click subscribe. And I also wanna say really quickly before we start that this year I'm doing Vlogmas again. And um, it's actually my first year doing Vlogmas on my vlog channel because last year I didn't have a vlog channel yet. So make sure that you're subscribed to my vlog channel as well. That way you don't miss out on that. Actually today, the very first day of Vlogmas went up. So you won't even have to play catch up. You can just go and watch it. And I believe that was everything, so let's go ahead and get into the questions. What was the craziest prank you ever pulled? I love you. Thank you. I love you too. I'm more the person who gets pranked than the person who does the pranking. Um, and I actually got pranked on season one of this show on... Wow, rude. This show on Icon called Pretty Little Pranksters, and it was really funny, and I actually went back and filmed an episode of season two where I helped prank someone, and I can't tell you what that prank was yet, but I'm gonna be tweeting out when that episode comes out, which should be this month, so make sure that you're following me on Twitter because it was hilarious. What was your first kiss like? Okay, so actually my first kiss was on a set. I was filming a student film, and I remember like telling my parents a few days before that I was nervous for the kiss because I had never kissed a boy before, um, and I went, and it was sort of awkward because because it was like in front of people and it was my first time kissing someone and he was like a little bit older and it, I don't think it was his first time kissing someone. So it was definitely a little nerve wracking but um, yeah, that's the story of my first kiss. <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, probably having to repeat myself. I just, for whatever reason, it just bothers me and I don't mean to be that person who's like, I'm never gonna repeat myself but it just like gets under my skin having to say something like over and over again. When you say something, they're like, what? And they can't understand what you're saying. That sort of drives me insane. <laughs> Are you going to be voting for Bernie Sanders? I hope you do. Uh, duh, I'm gonna be voting for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> if you follow me on Twitter, then you probably know how much I love Bernie Sanders. Um, and I actually will, as we get close to the election, be making some videos more about like voting and stuff like that because I think it's important, even if you're younger, to learn about that stuff. So um, to answer your question, yes, Bernie Sanders has my vote. Bernie. Most embarrassing moment. Uh, this is a hard one. I don't get embarrassed that easy. I think just because I do embarrassing things a lot. So like you know, it's not so hard, or it's not so easy to embarrass me, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you some hideous embarrassing photos of me. So I'm just gonna throw them up on the screen right now. They're all really ugly. I was a really ugly child. My parents think I was cute, but every person who I showed these to are like, no, you were really ugly, because I was. Like, second grade to sixth grade was a rough time in my life. After that, I really blossomed, but it was not good. Who's your YouTube crush? Oh my gosh, I'm like in love with so many guys on YouTube. <laughs> but um, my favorite probably, and this has been forever, like since their channel first started, is probably like Finn. Um, he's just so cute. I just, and I love that channel. Jack's Gap is so much fun. I know that's really like Jack's channel, but Finn does a lot on it too. And I just love Finn. <laughs> what are your thoughts on my cat named Jara losing her tail? First of all, your cat's name is Jara. That's amazing. Second, I can't believe your cat lost her tail. How did that even happen? I am I hope that your cat is okay. It looks like pretty okay. It looks like it might have a cone or something on, probably because it lost its tail, but damn, I hope it's doing all right. Favorite TV show. This is so hard for me because I watch so much television, but the shows that I watch like very consistently, the most consistent is The Office for me, but I wouldn't say that's my favorite show, but it's for sure my favorite comedy. My favorite show is probably um, The Newsroom, which was on HBO and just brilliant. Do you think you'll be doing YouTube in five to 10 years? If not, what would you be doing? This is a hard one to answer because I'm not really sure. I would love to still be on YouTube, but life brings you places, so who really knows? Um, if my acting career never takes off, then I would say, yeah, I would probably, hopefully, still be on YouTube in a few years if you guys are still interested in watching me. Um, but I also am trying to be an actress, so obviously, if something really big happened and, you know, I booked something really big that was gonna take up a lot of time, then that would take priority for me just because that's like my dream. Um, but YouTube has become such a huge passion for me as well. It went from hobby to like something that I wanna do with my life so fast. Um, and I feel so lucky. So definitely I wanna do YouTube for as long as you guys wanna watch me. If you could only choose one Disneyland ride to go on, which would you choose? Definitely Indiana Jones. It's my absolute fave. Even though you aren't related to them, thoughts on Cimarelli Band? Okay, this I thought would be a great opportunity to address this because I've been 
videos. I've been getting a lot more questions about it again recently. I am not related to Cimarelli, the band. <laughs> you probably found me through that way or through something else, but you might have found me while searching for Cimarelli. My last name is really Cimarelli, I swear. <laughs> People are like, are you just a big fan? I'm like, no, I mean, I am a fan. I really like them and I actually um, met them years and years and years ago, like so long ago. They are wonderful people, but I thought I would say really quickly, I am not related to Cimarelli. <laughs> When you decided to move to LA, how did your parents react to the news? Love you. Love you too. My parents were actually really excited for me. Um, sort of the story behind it was I applied to a school in New York City, um, the American Academy of Dramatic Arts New York campus, and um, I went there for my interview and I don't know, I just started looking through the program differences between LA and New York and I was like, I sort of want to move to LA and actually the YouTube channel Fun for Louie sort of inspired me to go to LA because he just lives such like an exciting and inspiring life and I was like, wow, like I should take a risk and do something that I want to do. So I was like, guys, like I'm thinking about changing my application from the New York campus to the LA campus and they were fully supportive of that. Of course they miss me and I miss them too. but. I'm really lucky because my parents are the kind of people who are never going to hold me back. Like, of course we miss each other and it was sad saying goodbye and I cried and, you know, all of that. But they were mostly just really excited for me to get to come here and live out my dream and they continue to be excited for me since so many exciting things have happened to me here. And those are all the questions I'm going to answer today. If you want me to do more of these Q&As, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope I got to your question. If you sent one in and I didn't get to it, I'm sorry. I actually was trying to scroll through to find even more questions, but um, Twitter cut me off. Like, it wouldn't let me go down any further. So I I couldn't find a lot of the questions that were sent in a few days ago. But now I know that it'll do that, so I'll make sure to screenshot things as they come in. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media, that way you can be involved next time I do a Q&A. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of these, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!